Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back because it is such a great day. Can I just tell you, we have behind me this beautiful arrangement that my mother made, which I think is so lovely because she didn't like the palm trees that everybody else likes, but I do like keeping some sort of fresh flowers behind me. Roses in there, we have orchids dangling down and some greenery. I have a new microphone here so that you won't get as much ambient noise behind me here, like in the house when like rooms away, my microphone was picking up everything, which normally would be good, but it was picking up stuff that you didn't need to hear. Um, and I found a new hairdresser, yay! Finally was able to get my hair colored and you have no idea. It was not easy in California to find a new hairdresser with all the COVID stuff and all the lockdowns for the last year and a half. And then half the hairdressers left the state. So everybody was like looking for a new hairdresser. So it's just been uh, so hard. So I'm really, really happy. And it turns out she used to be affiliated with my old salon. And I'm just like, it was Kisma. It was meant like, she's heaven sent. I'm so happy. So I used to have to like wash my hair before I could film after doing my hair with the last one. So I'm really excited that I can actually film after getting my hair done. I can like go out to eat if I wanted to. I can be seen, which is really exciting to me. So whew, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Anyway, I have top 10 summer day fragrances. I will do another series with 10 summer nights because I have some really good ones for that too. But this one's gonna be your summer days because there's been a lot of heat waves too. So I kept these, um, I'm gonna say nine of them are even great for heat waves, which is kind of cool because a lot of people are getting hit with that. Uh, not me, but you are, so here for you. So stay tuned and let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is the one that I'm not sure I would wear in a heat wave outdoors, but certainly in air conditioning or um, more normal summer weather is Amouage Sunshine. And yes, I will do a Top 10 Amouage um, video. I have heard you, I already have it prepped. I will do that for you. I, I've got it all set up already. Um, so Amouage Sunshine is beautiful. This one has a nice crisp apricot at the opening. Oh gosh, I forgot how good that is. So the opening is great in heat. It's uh, top notes are almond black currant, which I love black currant. It's got like a deep berry taste to it or fragrance to it. Artemisia and then the middle notes you have the osmanthus, which is where you get that apricot from, and the vanilla, where you get this like apricot whipped cream opening. It's really, really good. With magnolia and jasmine, in a base of white tobacco, papyrus, which is paper, juniper and patchouli. So that dry down with the patchouli and the papyrus and that white tobacco make it a little richer. So that's the part that I really don't like in a heat wave. I have worn it outdoors in the heat. Um, and it's, you know, it's borderline. It's borderline when you're outdoors. Indoors, not a problem. But this is just, God, I love this opening and middle. But the tobacco can sometimes get a little, like it just makes it a little more of an intense fragrance. But I really love this one. Definitely recommend this one. And on gloomy days, there's just something really cheerful about it without it just being like a citrus freshie. There's something that just makes you smile. This is a good one. I'm Wash Sunshine. The next one I have is something I have newly embraced. So I have never liked the Tom Ford Soleil series. I bought the original one, returned it like two days later. It just got, a, it was wonderful at first and then it just got a little suntan lotion-y on me and I didn't like it. I didn't like the Orchid Soleil. I just didn't like the gold bottle. This one I've actually had and I finally tried it again when I got another sample of it in uh, like this small bottle of it. And I was like, oh, well, this one's okay. This is the one in that frosted glass, the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. This is the only one of that collection or series, I should say, that I like. This one is top notes of bitter orange, neroli, and citron, bergamot, so you get a lot of citrus, 
uh, pistachio, cardamom, pettigrain, again, citrus, pink pepper, which I love, caraway, and a middle notes of tuberose, Tunisian orange blossom, ylang ylang, jasmine, galbanum, and a base of coconut, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, amber, which I really like and is really common in a lot to get that like vanilla, benzoin, tonka bean, musk kind of base, which I personally enjoy those. Um, this is the only one that doesn't go to that like nauseating sunscreen type of vibe in there where it wasn't much of it, but it just kind of, after wearing it two, three times, it kind of accumulated on me where I was like, yeah, I just, I can't do it. But this one is beautiful. Longevity is probably not the best. I think this one is out of toilet, correct. It's out of toilet and it's not the best, but I do enjoy this one. The third one, man, that sunshine is still smells good. Oh my gosh. The third one, also love, from Maison Lancome, uh, Iris Dragis. This is the one that smells like Jordan Arm, Jordan Almonds. It has this amazing, it, it, it's fascinating how it does it. It smells, you get the almond, but it's more of a raw almond than this like cherry kind of almond or deep syrupy almond, right? So it's top notes of bergamot and pink pepper. Middle notes are iris flower, which is where you're getting that powdered sugar kind of feel from it. Almond and sugar, iris, almond, and sugar gives you that candied shell kind of feel with orange blossom freesia in a base of vanilla, orris also giving you that powdered sugar kind of feel, that powdery, in white musk and iso e super. It really smells like the candied almonds, Jordan almonds. It's so good. It, I mean, it's also one of my springtime favorites because there's just something like Easter candy about it, you know? It smells so good and it's so lovely in warm weather. So it's not, it doesn't get cloying on you, but it's still sweet. Um, it's gonna be a compliment getter for that because it has, gosh, who doesn't like Jordan almonds? I mean, and the almonds aren't this like rich nighttime almond smell. It's that raw almond. So good. Okay, Iris Dragis. The next one is a little more on the citrusy side is, and this is a tester so I don't have the lid, is Liberty Island by Bond Number no. 9. Which citruses are great in the high heat. You need it with something else though to give it that longevity. So we have top notes of mandarin orange, black currant. Again, I am into black currant lately. Just, you'll notice this. Bergamot in the middle of orange blossom jasmine in a base of marshmallow and musk. So you have that like citrusy opening and you have the floral. And then you have, I mean, marshmallow musk, hello. So it's like citrus marshmallows. Like it's just, it's refreshing though, but you have that sweet musk in the base that just gives it a little more longevity. This one's so good. Okay, Liberty Island. The next one is a staple to me, and it's also really good for layering. I'm trying to remember what I was gonna layer this with the other day or what I was layering it with. Um, maybe it'll come to me and I'll put it on print. But from Zerjoff, the Casamorati line is Dama Bianca. This is like a vanilla musk to me. And because it's a little simpler, it's great at layering something. Oh, I know what it was. House of Siage. The, the, mm, it's strawberry rose, but it's very dry. Chuvra d'or, D apostrophe O R, Dior. That one with a vanilla is amazing. And this is a great vanilla musk that just kind of, I feel like finishes that perfume a little bit. So the notes on this one are top notes of kumquat and lime. So you get a really nice citrus burst. Middle notes are Italian iris and violet to give you a lot of powder, Egyptian jasmine, lilac, and lily of the valley, which I'm not always crazy about, but I don't mind it blended in there. Base of vanilla, malt, ambrette, which is musk mallow, white musk, sandalwood, and cedar, which is really what you get, that vanilla musk powderiness. So, but really this one is just, gosh, so versatile, versatile so easy compliments because who doesn't like vanilla musk 
real easy. Uh, longevity, I'm gonna say adequate, medium, medium. Like it's not killer, it's not horrible, it's not like, you know, four hours. It's, you know, just a normal day, six, eight hours or so. Um, but yeah, Dama Bianca, this is simple. And this one, you can, you can find this one on discount sites because it's been around a long time. I think they still have the Zerjoff sale too. You can find those on discount sites. I'll try to go to the Zerjoff site for the stuff I can't find, um, like limited editions or exclusives or um, the ones that haven't been out as long. They're just not there. Like the next one, Zerjoff Decas. This one I did get with the Zerjoff sale. I think it's like Leah 10. I don't know who she is. I started following her. Um, but she's an influencer that has a 10% off until July 4th. I'm all for it. You know, I, I'm happy to share discounts. You know, I'm all for saving money. This one is in celebration of the 1871 collection. Thanks, Ref, of the 1871 collection. So it's their anniversary. So uh, Decas 10, right? 10 years anniversary. This one is so good. If you like Dolce Amalfi, you're gonna like this one. This is like a milder version of Dolce Amalfi because Dolce Amalfi to me is like, makes no sense, but it's bazooka bubblegum. I wore it today to the hairdresser because it was gonna be in the list, but I didn't want three Zerjoffs, sorry. I just, I've been wearing so much Dolce Amalfi and she just thought I smelled so amazing. So I sprayed it again and she was like, you're right, it's bazooka bubblegum. When you first spray it, it simmers down. This simmers down a little more. This one is Calibrian Mandarin. Tobacco and tuberos. Middle notes are benzoin, Italian orris, apopinex, base notes are bourbon, vanilla, resin, and musk. But what I get, actually get, is more of that citrus, vanilla, musk, benzoin. I don't get that tobacco. The tuberose is definitely in a bubblegum form. Um, you get the citrus opening. That bourbon, vanilla, I don't get a boozy thing from this at all. This is like a milder Dolce Amalfi. So again, if you like that one, you will love this one. And I do find them different enough. But if you like one, you will very likely like the other. Very unisex. Very unisex. Okay, the next one I have an update for too. So the next one was in my haul video by Initio, the Musk Therapy. So I just wanna do an update because I was really bummed, like what is wrong with this bottle? So this gold collar had fallen off in shipping somehow. So when I opened the box, it fell out. My housekeepers, I think when they were vacuuming, found it and left it on the table for me. That solved the problem of the like oozing from underneath. Uh, it fixed the atomizer, it fixed the cap. It was magic, it fixed everything. Not that the sellers responded to me or anything, but apparently they just don't, they're not known for the best packaging. But I do like the fragrance, I do like the juice. And now that it's fixed, I'm a happy girl. See how easy I am to please? So this one is bergamot, mandarin, white musk, musk, black currant again. I mean, I'm seeing it, I'm really liking the black currant lately. White sandalwood, magnolia, and hedione, which is their overdose of jasmine, which is what triggers the pleasure sensor in your brain, saying you like something. I like this. I like it. But to me, I get like a fresh citrus cedar uh, musk kind of fragrance. It's very like palate cleansing to me. And that is why they designed this one. But I get like a citrusy clean and the sandalwood is woody it's not like a creamy sandalwood it's closer to like a cedar kind of smell like a citrus cedar cleansing uh fragrance it's really nice after you've been wearing some heavy fragrances with the weather changes season changes which is really what it's for it's to like give you a break and just refresh in your senses a little bit and kind of reboot um that this one and rehab are, are both meant to kind of perform that fashion. But I do get more of this refreshing, clean scent uh, that I really like. And it's very, very unisex, but not quite as harsh as some of the other citruses out there. Like, I don't know, Zerjoff Renaissance maybe is a really, really nice citrus that I absolutely love. This might just be a little smoother than it maybe. 
because of those woods in there. I don't know, maybe a little similar, but I like this one. And I'm happy it's all fixed. Okay, then we have, ah yes, Primaroma Dolce and Fundo. My first and best probably. This is a citrus vanilla and it's literally just citruses and vanilla are listed. And again, it's the oil. So oops, when you spray it, it's very oily and you want to rub it in. You uh, don't want to ruin your clothes. It is okay. You're not going to crush these essential oils because it's so high in oil. They recommend you do that. It's the only ones that recommend you do that. Everyone else says do not rub your fragrances. Just dab it. But this one you want to rub in. And it's just a beautiful vanilla that's brightened with citrus, which is great. And I do like these. They they kind of stick close to you, but it does leave, I have found out, it does leave quite a little trail, which is beautiful that you just leave a little trail where you are, but it it's a sillage, but it doesn't project it out very far. And what I also love about these perfumes is the perfume aromas, I smell them on me all day, which I love because I get so much joy out of smelling my fragrance that I don't have to do this. Like I just smell it on me. I just, that's such a huge thing for me. The next one is really funny because um, I have this in a couple atomizers from Killian. I didn't have a full bottle. I contemplated it, but I really wanted the flanker instead. That was limited edition, which is Killian's Moonlight Heaven. So I actually didn't order this. This was a mistake sent to me by Netta Porter, which Selfridges, take note. This is how you do business. Netta Porter, I ordered the Crosser, which I was so excited. I was looking for an image and happened to find it for sale there. And then a little bit later, another subby hit me up and said, hey, I know you were looking for that. They have it at Netta Porter. But I had already ordered it. I was excited. I thought, wow, how weird, because it was limited edition and it's not out anymore. You pretty much have to buy it from someone. So I ordered it and I received this yesterday. I was all excited and then I was really bummed where I was like, oh, well, probably wouldn't have bought it from you for that price. And I have a few atomizers, so I really didn't need that bottle. But apparently they send from Spain and I couldn't send it back to them. So they gave it to me, Gladys. They gave me my money back because it was the wrong thing. So that is a serious score, especially after all the other instances I've been having. Like take note, Netta Porter, you rule. So Selfridges handled that very differently. So I'm really happy. I really like this one. This is that coconut mango sticky rice, which I always think of that Filipino dessert, which is sticky rice and mangoes. Oh, love that. And it's wrapped in a big green leaf. I absolutely love that dessert. But in this coconut, you know, this actually um, leaves more of a trail than I thought too. I thought it was a skin scent that vanished, but I think I just go as not to it because I had people come, my mother would come into my room and she's like, wow, something smells amazing in here. And it was this, and I had just sprayed it quickly on my hand. So it does smell really good. I do like this one. It's perfect for summertime. It's perfect in the heat. It's perfect if you're by the pool, which you're not supposed to wear perfume in the sun, direct sunlight. But it's perfect for like having a cocktail on vacation or vacationing in the heat or in the summer, like just daytime. Like this is... This has been around a while and it's for a reason. It's a really good one. And a lot of these are new. Like, let's see, the Decus is 2021. And I know there's some others. The Musk Therapy is 2021. It is, uh, it's Tom Ford's not. The Lancome, I think, was a little bit ago. And Amouage Sunshine is a little bit ago. But I have another 2021 here. So the last one is finally... The Light Blue Forever. This is their newest launch. It just came out. I think it came out in Europe first, a couple months ago, but we just got it. So the Forever, it's only in this size right now, which is the 50 ml. And I feel like it's a little expensive for the 50 ml. Like I was shocked how much I had to spend. It's like this was this was north of 100 and I was really surprised for 50 mls, but it's really good. This one is probably 
my favorite, and I'm going to say between the spectrum of the original and extreme, where people liked extreme better because of its own longevity, but I'm not crazy about green apple all the time, like citrus green apple made it very sharp. This one is smoother. So I like that, but it's more intense than the original. So this is top notes of lemon, blood orange, and green apple, but the green apple's not as sharp. And then middle notes of orange blossom, white flowers, in base of cedar, white musk, and cashmere. So you had the original, which was all about the citrus and the apple and cedar, right? And then the second one, intense, was more intense. I felt like the opening was sharper, but then it was more about florals. And then now you have this one, but I think this is the best one now. I will, you know, I've always liked the Italian zest and the sun as the best flankers. Yeah, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's got that tart opening. I think that's the sweetness is all over me. That cedar, white musk, and cashmere, and I feel like, I feel like there's vanilla in it. It's just vanilla all over me. Let me spray this. It's very refreshing. These are all very refreshing. Yeah, it definitely has stayed true to that light blue flanker. You definitely get the light blue in there, which I've noticed only like the last six years of all the flankers have really stayed true. The other ones were really departed from light blue. I like this. So these are my 10 for summer daytime that I'm really enjoying. They're wonderful. Uh, even in high heat, you're going to stay classy. You're going to stay um, appealing to others around you. They're mass appealing and well liked by others. And I have another list of 10 that I'm going to come out with for nighttime. And they're going to be boom shakalaka, but for the heat. So they're, they're really good ones because there are powerful fragrances you can use that won't go cloying. You guys have a great night and I will see you in the next. Mwah.